Hi guys, welcome back to Center Stage. On today's episode, we're going to be looking back at a, another one of Broadway's earliest musicals called The Black Crook. Um, now, The Black Crook, with music by Thomas Baker and lyrics by Theodore Kennick, is one of the first romantic comedies which featured spectacular special effects and costumes. When a production opened on Broadway on September 12, 1866, it ran for a record-breaking 474 performances at five and a half hours long. The production was always considered a prototype of the modern musical of the era, with its songs and dances intertwined throughout the piece. Now, in order to create such a spectacle on the Broadway stage, which aside from operas had never been attempted, the producers Jared and Palmer traveled to Paris and brought some of the lead dancers from a pantomime show, along with stage machinery, scenery, costumes, and also purchased the grand transformation scene. A new set designer, Richard Marston, was also brought on to design all new sets for the Broadway stage. The success of the Black Crook resulted in changes brought about by the Civil War. Women at the time, having worked during the war, no longer felt tied to their homes and could actually attend the theater, resulting in an audience increase for popular entertainment. America's railroad system had also saw improvement, making it feasible for large productions, such as the Black Crook, to tour across the U.S. Along with the many state-of-the-art special effects, the show also included a transformation scene, which converted a rocky grotto into a fairyland throne room in full view of the audience. The show also included a French ballet troupe of 70 ladies in skin-colored tights, which proved to be a big draw for the Bale patrons. After the continued success of The Black Crook on Broadway, the production would go on to tour across Europe, becoming a basis for not only a silent film of the same name, but also its story being used loosely on the creation of the 1954 musical the Girl in Pink Tights, as well as two Broadway revivals, both in 1870 and 1873. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to today's video. If you enjoyed this, please comment on what you liked or disliked. I'd love to hear from you. And if you want to see other videos like this, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, that's a wrap.